pressing for receipt. Pressing for receipt. The receipt. Perfect. Um, this is the bowling in Bridgen. Um, I grew up like skating here a lot. It's five, six miles from my house. We used to come here on the bus and skate. It's undercover. So that was pretty good because everywhere else is soaking. This was nearly always dry unless it was busy. Um, but it's, it's like a concrete floor. It's actually, I just remember now how smooth it actually is. But um, it's got some, you know, it's got some really good artwork down there. I'm really back in the artwork. Obviously that, um, you know, the swag, you know, it's amazing. Paulman's funny because he is, uh, he's got like a real original in that way and he's always been, he's always done, always like wore the same gear, done the same tricks, liked the same skating. He's always just been stoked on like Ethan Fowler and wearing Farrows and Dickies and Vans and doing no complies and you know he's, and he's always liked those the, you know, the, those kind of like aesthetics and he's like stuck to it from the late mid 90s to now and it is funny like you know obviously a lot of those things I've been talking about are kind of like you know like, cool it's cool to do no complies now or whatever do you know what I mean but like yeah Pullman's he was doing it when it was like and then the trick was you know passe or whatever you know it's so good like I haven't been here for a long time and I know kids still skate here, you know, there's wally marks on this wall here, like dudes has been doing wally of that, so guys have been skating it. I don't know how old they are, but I, I imagine they're pretty new, but... You can bring a flat bar down here, I guess, or a block and skate, but... So good. So good. <laughs> Amazing. So good. to this day is a fantastic skateboarder you know he's like i've never seen anybody skate a round bar like he does he, like who does like a frontside 180 to fakey 50 50 on a round bar you know that's a hard trick and then like and then to do like a front shove it out and like all this other stuff he's so good like pullman is so good and if you watch him do a no comply like that's like that's like the model to do a no comply. I mean, Ray Barbie does them, like all these other dudes do them really well. But like, to me, Chris, you see Chris Pullman do a no comply, it's like everything, it's like so popped, it's like really, really high. The thing's like two foot in the air, and he just, the way he catches it, it's like, I learned to do no complies by watching Chris Pullman do no complies, you know? We're gonna see in a minute, I'm gonna check my phone and see, I just posted an Instagram picture of this, and I'm gonna see how many Welsh people have liked it, if any. To wait till Chris, Chris Jones wakes up, he's gonna love that I've been here today. Just got my little photo. <laughs> Eleven likes from people who've like who've never been to pretend. <laughs> we seriously used to skate these things like over and over, like do tricks around the corner, do manual rolls at the top, like. I learned to like ollie and do stale fish grabs and all kinds of stuff. I, my friend Chris learned kick flips on these. It was the first time I saw anybody do like a kick flip like on a steep bank. Like we were pretending, I guess we were pretending it was like that barrel bank in LA, you know, that you see like, um, you see day one and... Um, Rick Howard. And uh, yeah, Rick Howard and uh, uh, Jeremy Klein and people like that skate. So we used to pretend it was like an inside hip of barrel, I, I believe. People used to skate like the, the hip in the inside. Like nowadays, like nobody ever like rode along that wall and ollied into the bank. But now it'd be like the first thing, like if I was gonna bring some new, like why don't you do that? Why don't you do tricking that bank? But I never did any of that. So I think I just learned to start kick flipping off stuff, and I kick flipped off this thing, and it was just like couldn't even believe I did it, and I right away like like yeah, what the fuck? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever kicked a kick flip off anything that high in my life since. You know, Pullman and Scott is obviously the way you know he dresses and stuff, and he's got his kind of skate gear, and then his kind of like chilling clothes, and he's always worn brogues and farers and like sweater vests and like gingham shirts and. We, like we always tease Pullman about looking old because one time we went to Sheffield and uh, 
this little kid, like he was skating around the park and some little kid said to another kid, he was like, who's that guy over there? And this kid, the other kid went, I don't know, but he looks about 80. So like that was it. Like my friend Danny overheard that and told us and we were dying. So every single time after that, we were just making fun of Pullman for looking old. Um, I mean, we did anyway, but that just sort of cemented the joke. He's always just been, had this like sort of like old man steez or whatever, like kids at the skate park. The classic is just like, why is this old guy skating? Like, I think you know what I mean because it looks like an old guy over, and then he'll start skating. And like, oh, no, he's not that, not that old. <laughs> This is far from like this really embarrassing photo from uh, Christmas '97. <laughs> I'm so stoked I got this John Lee Sarah board. It's got like rails, nose bone, tailbone, brand new OJ wheels, like gloves. Look like about 30. I think I got, I got knee pads on. Oh my god, that's pretty bad. Nice carpet there. Good job, mum. This is all more of a ramp in Swansea. These guys made this amazing vert ramp. It's like three three layers of brad ply and steel surface. Um, this is Skin Phillips, who's like obviously a photographer and, a, and running trans all these days, and Arwen Davis, who's like a famous vert, uh, Welsh vert skater. His dad was Ryan Davis. He's a famous Welsh comedian. Um, and these guys, just, I just got a snap. These were like, you know, I was fanning out, taking like odd snapshots of these guys because they were just like heroes. So. Some really bad um, skate rags, pants, air walks, really bad Vision Streetwear shirts, and some ladies from my steak. <laughs> hanging out. Um, I had a lot of gear there, like I, I think I must have, that must have been the summer holidays, I think I saved up some money and bought a load of stuff, or maybe, I think my mum maybe bought me some cool stuff for a treat. This is an issue from 1992. I went to a competition somewhere in Barrow and Furness a little bit before this. But I entered a mini ramp competition, which is like odd. I think because I got roped into it, um, and I took a run and I sucked and I couldn't. I was getting snaked to death because all these guys were all good. But um, I managed to get like one trick. I used to do this trick where you do like a new deal grind, and you like take your foot off, so you like a one footed new deal run. And I got a, I actually got a photo. Um, so I got this photo. I was, this is my first photo in a magazine. This little postage size, stamp size. It says uh, Chris P with a backside new deal grind with his back foot off. Dude, photo Kevin Banks. Um, and the guy was, was kind and remembered my name. And this is like my first like my intro kind of thing. Like I, I don't know what they call them these days, like a checkout or whatever. They spell my name wrong, like there's loads of really dumb quests. I'm like 17, so it's like an inward heel flip. Terrible photo. Down like seven, six, seven stairs maybe. I don't even know how many he was. Um, the Christ, I think Skin said the lens was cracked, so it was pretty bad. I'm wearing like, if you saw this in colour, I'm wearing like a mustard coloured shirt, like bright orange um, New Deal jeans, uh, like these yellow and black Vans bluches, which are like the best shoes. Is that yeah. Metal? yeah. Fuck, nobody <laughs> told me that. <laughs> yeah. This is Sidewalk 97. Um, ben Powell saw uh, saw some footage of me. He's like, "Oh, we should go and do a haunt," which was basically like an interview. They go um, come to your local town and you know take some photos of you skating. Um, so they did this haunt. This was my haunts in Sidewalk. Some illegal stuff in here, I guess, but I didn't think of it at the time. We shot this rad little portrait of me like looking through my glasses. So I was 22, recording this. Been skating for 10 years. Um, wearing some solid Farrah pants there, some good good pants. They used to have this flat bar there, I used to skate it a lot. Um, this is like a 50-50, no sorry, a Smith 50-50 and then front side shove it out. Actually caught it before it the floor, surprisingly. I always wanted to shoot a Wally off a tree, so I shot that. Um, still for surely at Playing Place in Cornwall. That's my ex-girlfriend there, bye to me, rightly so. Um, yeah, so that was my that was my horn. So it was like a, again, that was like I never thought I'd get that. You know, that was like an interview. Pullman's like a real skate rat. He'll he, and he and he you know obviously we all you know we all like to skate or whatever, but he he he'll, he'll make he'll he'll just make it happen like regardless. Um, 
be it, you know, going to a skate park at 8 o'clock in the morning with petrol to, like, dry it out and, like, you know, set it on fire or whatever and, like, well, you know, he's got his car, he's got loads of squeegees and towels and, you know, to, to dry the park out, at, you know, super early in the morning, goes there with his son or by himself, whatever, or, well, you know, I've met him at Mile Inn before, there was snow on the ground and the quarter pipes had, like, ice on them and stuff, do you know what I mean? And he was, like, chipping all the ice off and, do you know what I mean? That's, like, that's sort of classic him. <laughs> Maybe a bit smoother. <laughs>